action. Hi guys, it's me Boog. And Dad. For Boog and Dad TV. And today, we will be reviewing this. The Marble Toy Box Action Figure Set. Haha, <laughs> you're playing. Just kidding. We actually are going to be reviewing this. But first, we're going to review Clay Fairy. Clay Fairy. And he is a Pokemon... Um, number nine. Well, she, Mega he's from series nine. Right. They've already made so many of these. So these are kind of like uh, Lego figures. But it's Mega Constructs. Yeah, make. but the Mega Constructs brand. What do you like about these boots? They're really cool Pokemon. And they're fun to build. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. And before this video, I actually built him. <laughs> Right. So you didn't have to wait on that. So you want to turn him around, show everybody what it looks like from the back? And also, a really cool fact about them, they can actually stand on the Pokeballs that they come in. Yeah, it looks like a very interesting Pokeball. There's the back with his little tail. There's the front again. So you have the, the, the ball and the action figure um, as your display, right? Yeah. Put it on yourself like that. Cool. There's a good shot at the back. He's kind of got some little, little cloth wings. And who is he again? Clay Fairy. Clay Fairy. All right, guys, that's it for Clay Fairy. If you're interested in him, I think. But also, definitely in the future, I'll definitely show you all of my leg uh, Mega Good Stretch Pokemon. Yeah, we'll probably do a whole video we for did, that. We series. actually did. Um, we actually did um, do one already. We did the little bone guy. Yeah. So uh, now let's show him another shot of this. It's the. Uh, the set here of uh, Toy Box Marvel action figures. And it has my head is included. So, Boo, can you go over all the figures that we get? We get Hulk, Doctor uh, Strange Blue Edition, Black Widow, Hawkeye, War Machine, Thor, and Aiden's Face. And Aiden's Face, right. <laughs> So all these come in one set, and these are available at the Disney store. Uh, Boo got this for Christmas. We're just now getting around to getting it open. So let's open the box up and check out these figures. Yeah. Okay, Dad. We're going to have to work together on this opening. Right. Give us just a second. To get this right. thing even open. Get it open. Out. Oh, we got more tapes on the end here. Oops. Get that out of the way. Okay. Over here. Okay, we got that out of the way. Now to get them out. <coughs> yes. Ugh. This one's in there tight. Pretty tight. Good job. Let's see if this whole piece here will slide out. It should. I think it will. Yep. Uh, as you can see, the awesomeness, the ladies inside, everything. Okay, I think we should take this out. All right, let me snip. Let me snip their snips first. I can do it. I can do Who's it. gonna do it? All right. Down here. Stay down here. Right. Sorry, guys, this is taking a little bit of a while. All right, so I think, uh, so we don't have to wait a long time. You start reviewing him, and I'll go ahead and get the rest out. Okay. okay. Let's do this one here. Well, you don't want to have a long pause on the video, so, and we need another one here. Over here. Here's Hulk. Alright, let me see that, and then you go ahead and start the review on Hulk. Hey guys, this is Hulk. He's pretty awesome. <laughs> He's actually pretty cool, but I'll wait for Dad. Uh, no, keep going. <laughs> give, him, give him the articulation. Do your thing. Okay. This is your channel. One, You've got to get it. Two. Well, it's both of our channel. One, right. two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is invisible, Doctor Strange. That's actually really cool. Seven, twelve. He's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So why don't we give him some details? Instead of just saying pretty cool, tell him what you like about him. Uh, I like the classic green Hulk. All right, and then he looks like come with a crush pipe. Yeah. Let's take that off. And talk about it. <laughs> there you go. 
All right, let's talk about the pipe a little bit. Hello, well, fancy doing it again. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, and here is Doctor Strange. He's awesome. Invisible Doctor Strange. Yeah, I think this is actually this is a, guys kind of down below when he goes invisible like this. Yeah, I think I remember that in the movie. You've only seen it once. I actually think this is um like him like when he fades away in the first movie. Oh, and well, here comes movie. Black Widow. She's got a stick. I want to get the notes. All right. Well. So, Dad, let's get some of your opinions while I get this. Okay, we'll let Boo do that. <clears throat> And we'll talk about some of the figures here. Yeah, Boog will be back shortly here. Alright, so first off, he kind of went over Hulk a little bit. There he is. These are definitely um, more based on, I think, the cartoons uh, or the comics uh, versus uh, Hasbro's line, which are definitely seem like they're more based on uh, the movies, maybe a little more realistic, because uh, this Hulk is definitely cartoony looking, which is cool. Nothing against it, but it's just a definitely, definitely a different look. Um, I love the bent up pipe. That's really awesome. He feels really well built. Most of all these Toy Bites characters are, these are nice figures. Um, just kind of comes down to whether you like the, the more realistic looking figures, like with Hasbro, or if you like the cartoon you know, series like these, and all these are very cartoonish, but I also think, too, these probably are designed for, for younger kids, um, and, uh, and that, that's probably the idea behind this, this whole toy box set is, you know, they're probably for, for younger kids, um, maybe eight and under, that kind of thing, and then the Hasbro line is more for, like, uh, older kids and collectors, I guess, so, but these are cool figures. So there's Hulk, and then after that, we're going to show off I'll go over Doctor Strange. I already like him a lot. His uniform and everything is cool. He's got a lot of details. The cape's awesome. I think it's removable. And I believe this is definitely just when he's in his uh, invisible mode there with the cape. That's what that's supposed to represent. He's like a cool, cleary looking blue color. Uh, but his uniform or his whole suit looks awesome. Face looks good. Yeah, this Doctor Strange figure is nice. And I think he is our first Doctor Strange figure. I don't think we have him in any other version. So this is cool. I like it. Let's see. Next up, we have Black Widow. And in this, in this one, she has uh, blonde hair. The rest of her uniform looks pretty much the same. Elbows bend, knees bend. Um... Feet move here and there, up and down like that. And she also comes with a staff. So I'll put that in her, her hand. Well, can't really go in there, but that's the staff. It does break away into a few different sections, which is kind of cool. So she's kicking some serious butt, bust up the staff, put it back together. She has this piece back here. I'm not really sure what that is for, but I guess it's part of a uniform. That looks like holsters. It's only five million years. Well, oh, they're removable too. Yeah, it's only five million years, but I finally got a war machine now. Okay, we got a war machine. Uh, and these figures are not particularly cheap so I uh, want to keep that in mind they're right up there around what uh, Hasbro charges for theirs um, you get it for a regular price about you know 16 17 bucks a, a figure so something to think about if you're trying to decide which ones you want to you want to get uh, these versus Hasbro but again I think if you're getting them for for, for young kids this is probably the way to go um, less accessories, and these things are pretty heavy duty. Real good for a younger kid, I think. Okay, finally, I got them all out. Finally, everybody's out. So that's Black Widow. Now we'll move on to. Uh, Luke, it's your turn. Which okay. one would you like to go over? Ooh, he may be my new favorite. Who do we got there? Hawkeye. Hawkeye. But you might not look like Hawkeye right now. Why not? 
Because he has a mask. Oh, okay. Hawkeye wearing the mask. You can also, he has a real bow and arrow with real darts. He's got come with a nice bow and arrow. With arrows. Which does actually work, by the way. There he is. Who do you think doesn't come off? But. He's got a holster there for the, for the arrows. As he should. Uniform's kind of cool. A lot of black and purple. Got some little knee pads on, almost like the Ninja Turtles. And he come with a nice bow. And one free arrow that you can actually shoot with the bows. Boo just did. <laughs> All right. So let's put this, put, put that back in his hand and show him off, Boo. Guys, I have something to show you. So yeah, they definitely, some of them definitely come with some more accessories than. I guess they all kind of come with a, a little bit of accessories. Hulk's got his pipe. Black Widow with her staff, breakable staff. Um, and then obviously the most so far has been. Uh, Hawkeye with his arrow bow which you can actually shoot watch your eyes out kids and oh wait so did he come with a replaceable head yep oh cool so he does come with two heads so you get um, the mass version here you now. and then if you want to change it out to his non hidden version guys. there's his regular head super cool all right so that's Hawkeye everybody Boop, what's up next get this Head out of here. War machine. Machine, machine, machine. <laughs> yes. I don't like that was actually accurate or appropriate for this. War machine is awesome. Oh, he looks really, really cool too. All right, put him up there so the folks at home can see him. Hello. There he is. So he's got his two guns on top as it should. I'll be back in 10 years. So you up close here. How he looks. Great, great figure. Looks just like War Machine should. Uh, pretty much the same articulation as all the rest. Uh, you've got the swivel head, elbow joints, knee joints, and ankle joints. And of course they all twist at the waist. So pretty much what you get with all these toy figures, and they're they're all good figures. These these are great. I think he is super cool looking. These both will around for some gun action. Very cool. We'll do a comparison before we get done with a few of these have versus the Hasbro versions, just to kind of show you the difference. All right, next up, and I guess the final one, because in this set we got one, two, three, four, five boog. Is that right? Yeah. Five figures in this set. But wait, get one machine back over here. We'll do it just like let's wrap this up first. Um, get Hulk also. We do a comparison. I don't think we have anybody else. So, but we can do Hulk and War Machine comparison. Do we have Black Widow? No. No, no Black Widow. Okay, so here's Thor. Thor is the last figure in this set. Get him up close. You can see he's got all his Ascar armor, cape, which is. It might be removable. I'm not 100% sure. You can see it in the back. It's kind of flowy. But again, he looks very, very cartoonish. Uh, his hammer comes out of his hand at the boot. I think it might come off. Yeah, I wasn't going to try to force yeah. it. I'm yeah. sure. But also, you could see the back detail. That's kind of off, right? That's kind of off. Yeah, kind of, sort of. All right, and then show the show the costume there. Oh, the costume. Head scan. Um, looks good, but again, you know, it's it's just definitely based off cartoon. I would say the the hammer is removable. It feels good. Let's try it out here. Hey. Actually, Oops. look now. Let's actually try it on this chair. In the back. Let's try it, the test on this terrible C three PO. Oh no! No, please! No. Oh. Oh! And Thor with his dead. mighty hammer. <laughs> he's dead. Ruby <laughs> out. And I think these guys, most of these guys are about five inches tall. We're going to do a comparison in a minute so we can see if they're, if they're, uh, I think they are going to end up being a little bit shorter than the Hasbro versions, but not by very much. Uh, so, boom. As soon as he gets back here, we'll go over it. I think. When we do the comparison, I think for the most part, they're uh, both sides of figures are really, really good. It just really depends on what you like. I don't think there's really one that's better than the other. Um, and, or again, like I said, who's going to be playing with it? Because for small kids, uh, these are probably 
the way to go right here. And then for your older kids, or for something to put on your shelf. Um, oh yeah, yeah, we can. Do, this is this is a much bigger figure. So now that I got them next to each other, you can really tell. There's probably two and a half, three inches in difference. Uh, we can get the get the tape measure, boot. Let's kind of see um, what um. You see it? Yeah. Oh yeah, right here. All right, we're gonna measure him right quick. Um, measure him first. <laughs> Lay him down flat. Let's see what we get with the toy box version. So this is Disney's toy box version. I'll stand him up. It'll be easier to measure him like this. I mean, I'll hold this in to show you. I'll hold it down to the tip of his toes. Let's lay him flat so it's fair. Slide your hand over so I can see. All right, that's fairly flat. So we're gonna go here to the top. And he is, yeah, he's basically five and a quarter inches. I think he's actually um, six. I think his gun makes it six. Well, we're just going to do the figure. We're going to do the gun. So, a five and a quarter. Yeah, but these are attached. So, it's actually And it's then the, the Hasbro figure. Let's go up from the front so people can see. And it's about... Um, oh, almost seven. Yeah, so there's at least two oh, inches wait, difference here. No, it exactly is. It actually is seven. Yeah. So he, yeah. When you put them side by side, this is this is a much bigger figure. So speaking of bigger figures. Yeah, and you if know, you're thinking, um, that should we go into more of the bigger so figure part? Money, now? money wise, when you think of you know what you're paying, like we gave, I think these were closer to to seventeen to twenty dollars each. These type figures, the Hasbro version. Um, but still, like I said, this one here would end up being around fourteen, fifteen. So um, it's not far off in cost. But okay. I guess if you compare them, okay, yeah, let's hold up. You get uh, you're, you're probably getting a lot more of your money's worth. You pay the little extra and get the Hasbro figure because uh, it's definitely you know looking at it side by side, it's it's a lot more detailed. That's for sure. But if you're looking for something for small kids. Um, Toy box version could be the way to go, but there is definitely a it's the way. a major difference in, in <laughs> these two figures, just in size and detail. Right, Boo? Yeah. Okay. Well, All right. To add now, let's speaking of size comparison. What you got there? Let's compare the Hulks. Okay, that's gonna be Hasbro's Build a Hulk figure. That you're looking at now. Now this one is gonna be tall. I know it. Dad. And he's coming in at eight and a half. Yep, eight and a half. Eight and a half inches. Yeah, let's get the other Hulk. And <laughs> this now is gonna be so we have. <laughs> let's go back here a little bit so they can see better. We've got the toy box edition of Hulk, and he's coming in right mm -hmm. at. Six one or so, or so. About six, six and a quarter inches. Six yeah. one, I think. Versus six eight, one. and then you can tell with the comparison. I think he's at um, six one. Yeah, the, the Hasbro version is uh, six one. Huge baby. But again, like I said, it just really depends what you're buying him for. Like I said, he's got a lot more detail, a lot more realism. Um, but got younger kids that want superheroes. I'll probably consider going with these because these are. Nice figures. You just yeah, get more of a cartoonish look. And some of these are a much smaller early. figure. Then, so. Can you please? We're not. We can't do this if we're talking over me. Oh, go ahead. Okay, so guys, we actually did review some figures from Toy Box that were Marvel editions from on their channel. We have Rocket Raccoon. Yes, and again, these are more of the Disney Toy Box figures. Yeah, but there's two that are brand new for you. Right. There's Rocket. And Wolverine. And right? Wolverine. And those are the two that we reviewed on the channel. Yeah, and yeah, we've done a review on these. I don't know if they've gotten posted yet, but we did do a review on these. Yeah, so punch More you, toy box punch figures. You. So make sure to watch that video. If you want to, you can go watch it right now. But do not miss two awesome figures. No, Negative. Hulkbuster. Uh, dad, dad, dad. No, dad. get him yet. I'll do Iron Man first. Oh, another toy box, Iron Man. And I think this is the only Iron Man we have. We don't have one in the DC line yet, but this is the toy box version. 
Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, damn, we have to review him. We haven't done him. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I'll let you do that one. He's pretty cool. He's red and gold. He has a little, a cool little bottom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, actually, he has a little coat on his bottom. Right, right. And then he has good kick. Okay. And good blast. All right. And then good black flippiness. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much Iron Man, same articulation as pretty much all the rest of the toy box guys, and he's, like I said, about five and a half, six inches tall. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Well, then first, we have, before we do the reviewing, Hulkbuster has some serious things to show you. Is this the toy box, Hulk, Hulkbuster? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Hulkbuster has something serious to show YouTube. Alright, what you got? Do, 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 Oh. Well, that's what I asked. So Tony does fit down in there. So he's head. What? The head came off. Somebody broke Tony's head? Don't worry, I put it back on. Oh, nice. Now, will it come out, or is it just show you that he's actually just in there? That's it. So you lift it up, you can see Tony's like real head. Oh, cool. And some lights on the inside. That's pretty awesome. Features. That's how he lights up to his eyes. Oh, yeah. Nice. So, and that would be the Hulk Buster that is prepared to fight this Hulk. Yeah, let, Dad, let's do it. Alright. Oh, crush. Wait a Malfunction, malfunction. Malfunction, dance party. Do, do, do. Malfunction. Do, do, do. <laughs> so again, that is pretty much our review for the uh, Toy Box oh, no, Marvel. Oh no, you don't, Hulk! You're still going down. You can't beat me in Hulkbuster, much less in regular Iron Man suit. Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. All right, we're signing okay, off. Well, then let's show off all the figures. All right, we'll try to get everything with one. <laughs> well, one little show off here before we head out. Uh, yeah, this, we'll just do the toy boxes that we reviewed today. Yeah. Not the comparison, guys. Including Iron Man and Hulkbusters, which likes to dance. <laughs> and overall, we think these these figures are actually pretty good. What, what do you think, Boog? Do you like these figures? What do you like best? Yeah, I really like these figures. Now, Boog is 10. He'll be 11 this year. Um, yeah. If you had to choose between the toy box versions or the Hasbro versions, uh, what would you pick? Both. Both. Okay, well, let's, let's say you don't have a choice to do both. You have to pick one or the other. What series would you go with? I would go... So, basically, if I had to, I would go... Um, well, actually, it's not really. Actually, none of them are better than the other. Right, it's just what you prefer. Yeah. So, that's what I'm asking you. What style do you prefer? Yeah, but there's for me, I like them both. Okay, so you don't think one is actually better than the other? Oh, um, Dad, we can't quite see Rocket down there. <laughs> All right. Um, Dad, we might have to lower it down. So, so, like, for me, if I was just buying one set of figures, um, oh, there's Rocket. Right there. Is it to put on my shelf or, 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 or well, play I can't with. see Dad's, Dad, get, you had to go down low. So Not that you're 10, see you. <laughs> I would go with the Hasbro versions. Um, but again, it's, both the figures are, sets are great. It just depends on what you like. Maybe the age of your kid. Dad, do you think we should make a thumbnail right here? Uh, I think it's good. Wait, Dad. Um, yeah, yeah, get Brick Widow in here. Oh, yeah. Put her up front. To a, little top. a little hard to stand up there. Or she could just... Uh-oh. Oh, oh no! no. We have to okay, see. well we gotta wrap this up because we're almost at 25 minutes. So everybody, 
guys, we're still we're we're still on until we get all these characters up. Well, we again. probably really shouldn't be. So well, we'd like to push another thirty minute video. No, I don't. I'm just trying to stand them up so we have a good end there. <laughs> Right, That's our review for Wait, Disney's toy, see, Marvel <laughs> Toy Box series. Dr. Strange, we can't see him. I think that's all right. We've already reviewed him. <laughs> Wait, there. All right, everybody. We're done, okay, okay, We're guys. Out. Okay, guys. Make sure to subscribe to Boogie TV for more. If you already did, awesome. Bye. Bye-bye.